What's going on, my man? All good, man. All good. Hey, hey I, I'm still loving what you do, man. You, I appreciate you, it, man. You're on, a, you're on a nice winning streak, but you keep it up. You knocked it out the park on this one. I appreciate it. I, I, you know what? I like to call you sort of like instead of calling you like a filmmaker, you're more mm -hmm. like a, a hip hop artist because uh, you sample all these different yeah. genres mm -hmm. and you come out with something completely new and different and engaging. Well, it's funny because you know I've always I, I've always aligned myself with that that you know that hip hop idea of taking things that already exist and riffing on them and by the way I put them together and expand on them I create something new that you know that, that, that there's a jumping off point there there's a lot of respect for what's there but now something new exists where this idea come from because you're mixing elements of a spaghetti western mm -hmm. with a traditional western mm -hmm. with slavery mm -hmm. part revenge tale love mm -hmm. story yeah it's like you know I wanted to do a spaghetti I'm a big fan of spaghetti westerns aesthetically okay. and I've and I've put the aesthetics of spaghetti westerns in quite a few of my movies before, but never done a straight up one. And this is right. my time to do a straight up one. And I was thinking, well, with the spaghetti western landscape and like the, the operatic qualities of them and the surreal violence that exists in them, what would be the good American equivalent of that? And I thought, man, being a slave in the antebellum South. Because uh, the, story of a, 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 of a, the story of a slave who becomes an avenger, all right? Uh, you know, uh, becomes a bounty hunter. You know, can give back instead of just take and go actually and go and and you know save his go into the pit of hell to save his woman. That deserves to be told in an operatic way. What's your name, boy? His name is Django Freeman. Hmm. Hmm. What'd you dig him up? Well, fortuitous turn of events brought Django and myself together. I would tell about you. I heard you've been telling everybody that Mandingos ain't no damn good. Ain't nothing nobody is selling is worth buying. I'm curious. What makes you such a Mandingo expert? I'm curious what makes you so curious. What did you say, boy? Calm down, Butch. No offense given. None taken. Now, Monsieur Condé, um, I'd appreciate if you could direct your line of inquiry toward me. One. You do not have anything to drink. Can I get you a tasty refreshment? Yes. I'll have a beer. I want a bar. Roscoe, a beer for the man with the beard, and I will have a Polynesian pearl diver. Do not spare the rum. But you weren't ever, like, there wasn't ever any second guessing yourself because slavery is still such a hot button issue. Yeah, I know it is, but I, uh, but I think that's a damn shame. I mean, I think people need to look at things like this. I mean, I actually think that would be the beginning of healing if people dealt with it more, you know, because I know it's a problem for both blacks and whites, but, you know, most countries have had to deal with uh, uh, the atrocities that they've done. And America is kind of just, I mean, like in school, I learned more about Cortez and the Aztecs than I ever did about uh, the slave system. And so... Uh, I wanted, I wanted to deal with that, but not deal with it in a victimizing way, but deal with it in, in, in a heroic way. Has Spike Lee seen your movie yet? Uh, I don't think so. You gonna show it to him, set up a project? Well, I ain't gonna show it to him, no, all right? <laughs> that little guy's gotta buy a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've seen it, I've seen it twice, so man, keep up the good work, baby. I appreciate it. No, nah, no, nah, way to represent, baby. Thanks it's, a lot, it's, it's, it's on point, so I appreciate it. Have Did you have a favorite have scene? That. I Not everybody gets the whole song. You're very lucky.